if, if you tell me to say, see, I want between church and, uh, and uh, bar, choose which one I should open. I say open bar. Something that will bring income to your country. Hi guys, it's a girl in Lomotams, also known as a girl of Zen, girl from Zen. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you will be notified that Gelawa Pazel has uploaded a video. We now have employment opportunities in Africa because of the Chinese. And who preached the good news of the Chinese? Our leaders. So this is a wake-up call for our leaders. As you can see, your own people, our own people are being... I don't know where you are watching me from. Good evening. I just want to say thank you to all the people that are following C1, that are supporting C1 uh, from all over the world. Those people who say C1, you are always saying the truth. We love the work you are doing. You know, it's not easy to be to do something that everyone is afraid of doing everyone is afraid of saying it's not easy to do those things it's not easy to come in a in a in a world that is um, a world that is full of religion it's not easy to come and speak to people and they try to change their mindset trying to uh, try to bring them out of religion and create a relationship between them and god uh, it's not easy. It's very, very difficult. So I just want to thank everyone mm -hmm. that has been supporting. You have been sending me so many messages. You are saying, see, I want to continue the work you are doing. You know, when you are playing football and uh, you don't have supporters, you get disadvantaged. You get depressed. You, you don't know whether what you are playing well or you are not playing well. You usually lose the math. But when you have a lot of supporters people who are supporting who are saying see i want what you are doing is right you know you feel good you feel like you the people that you are defending they are getting your message you feel like the people you are talking to they are hearing what you are saying so i'm so glad i'm so so glad that a lot of people are beginning mm -hmm. to open their eyes and many people are saying, see, I want, we can't wait to see you once the lockdown is over. I am expecting thousands upon thousands of people from all over the world that are beginning to know and hear the truth. I am expecting them to uh, come and see me and see me in person immediately after the lockdown. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for always standing behind me. It's uh, the... the the support is overwhelming that's why i feel comfortable to always come and talk to you now if you have joined this broadcast there is something important that i want uh, us to discuss today you must share the video please please share the video if you love c1 share the video if you love c1 share the video let the whole world know that c1 is live and c1 want to say something see one want to speak see one want to speak something and it's very very important that they hear share the video in all the groups share the video in on your timeline share it as many as possible and uh, secondly i want to warn those people that are just joining us you know that you are not a jagaban you hate the truth i just want you to leave the broadcast because here we talk the truth 
we don't we are in this page we are not talking about uh, this and that we we speak straight to the point we don't go left and right we go straight to the point so if you are here you know that you are a kada whether a prophetic kada kada of a prophet or kada of a pastor or kada of a politician leave the page because we don't talk about kadarism here we don't favor anyone here we talk about the truth what is happening is what we are talking so if you know that you don't you don't love the truth if you know that you don't believe in the truth if you know that you want to use bible now to deceive us to come and challenge what i speak please leave the broadcast open a page and preach about jesus open a page and preach about your your polit your president or your your what what here we believe in truth understand what i'm talking about we believe in truth so if you are not a, if you are not truthful if you don't believe in the truth you just have to leave the broadcast before i start talking because what i will be saying is going to offend you it's going to offend your political party it's going to offend maybe your pastor though i don't talk about pastors i never speak about one pastor or the other pastor i don't talk about individuals i talk about religion i don't talk about uh, this pastor that prophet i don't have time to talk about those things what i speak here is religion i speak for nation i speak for africa because this is assignment that was given to come and open the eyes of african people so if you are watching this telecast and you know that you are a kada you will get offended with what i will say please leave please leave i'm talking to jagabans like i always say in my church we are not a, a church of a holy ghost fire what what i don't even have members in my church what i have in my church are uh, what i have in my church are disciples they believe me everything that i say so if you know that you are not a disciple you hate the truth you start insulting me now when i start saying the truth please leave in advance so that you don't you will not agree with me from the beginning so there is no need watching me understand what i'm talking about so today uh, yesterday when I, I woke up from the sleep i was receiving a lot of messages a lot of messages hundreds of messages on my whatsapp on on youtube receiving a lot of messages from so many people and someone is asking is this life is is it's a live program you can see that this is a live program oh someone say on free facebook unfortunately i wanted to watch this program oh please what you are going to do for me the person that commented this thing i want you to send me a message uh, on my whatsapp number you will get it from the page immediately the program is done you send me your your name and send me your account number so that i can send some money to you god has touched me to bless you that person that says he's on free mood and he really wanted to watch the program send me your account number on my mm -hmm. on my uh, whatsapp uh, on my whatsapp uh, uh, number is there on a uh, on, on this on this uh, uh, page immediately after the program and then uh, remember that it's not everything that I'm permitted to say here. It's just that people we are crying out up and down. See, I want, why do you want to do the broadcast on YouTube? We don't have money for YouTube. That's why I say, let me come and speak to you here on Facebook so that everybody can hear what I want to say. So if not, I don't like coming to Facebook to say many things. You can see there are so many people that don't have maturity. Many people that are commenting from their tummy. Many people that are commenting because they are they have been given a, a, a campaign material. The government is giving them 20 rand. Many of them are here on Facebook. The moment I start talking, they will start commenting rubbish. But like I said, this is not for everybody. This is just for Jagaban. Those who are saying we are proud Jagabans, we don't shake. We are going to control the world. We are going to rule the world. We are going to say the truth. And that is how it is. Those are the people I'm talking to here. So make sure you subscribe to my Facebook, YouTube page, YouTube channel, Prophecy One CFM, so that you will be getting a live uncensored uh, 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 broadcast. 
So uh, yesterday I woke up and everybody saying, see how one Boma and Lusambo is insulting you. Boma and Lusambo is insulting you. <coughs> Boma and Lusambo is insulting you. And then I managed to... Someone sent me the message he posted about me. I just want you to follow what I want to say so that you understand uh, what is happening. He posted staying, insulting me. He, he was saying, see a one. What was it? Let me see again. Mm. He was saying, say, he was saying, see a one is uh, this, see a one is that. But one of the things, before I speak, I didn't, I don't want to address, I didn't even want to address him because where I'm coming from, from Godfather's group. Godfather always tell us to say, no matter the matter, no matter the matter, don't use a bullet meant for an elephant on a bed. So uh, this guy is just a bed. It's, it's nothing. I was not supposed to even be responding to a, a him. He's a kada, you know. He doesn't know nothing. But uh, I really needed to open the eyes of the world. I believe majority of people that are watching me are from Germany, Zambia, different kinds of the country. I want you to know the kind of leadership that Zambia is having, a country called Zambia. I was uh, reading Boman Lusamboy said, uh, uh, the exiled prophet exiled prophet you know in the first place Boman Lusambo was supposed to look for somebody that is educated if not even educated look for somebody that is intelligent to explain to him the meaning of exile what do you know about exile <laughs> what do you know about exile <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't, the Boma Lusambo don't know what Ezra is. Ezra means, I'm in South Africa. I was deported in Zamb from Zambia back to Nigeria. And I chose to come and settle in South Africa. And the, I am here in South Africa. I travel to any country that I want to travel to. I was in Nigeria in December together with my family. I sat with my family, spent time with my family in Lagos. I checked all my projects. I don't have any problem with the government of Nigeria. What is Ezao? Ezao meaning somebody running away from his country to another country. I didn't run away. I was, decide, I was deported from Zambia. Why? Because the government is corrupt. Give me the reason why I was deported from Zambia. They said Sia one was a, a, a threat. Uh, uh, to public, to the public. What did I do? I didn't steal money from anybody. If there is a case that was reported against me in Zambia, if I did something bad in Zambia, if I offended anybody in Zambia, if I was a crook like he was saying, if I was a con man like he was saying, the thing that government of Zambia was supposed to do was what? See a one. You must be arrested. I would be arrested. See a one. You must stand trial. I will be tried. See a one. You must go to prison. Isn't it? It was not supposed to be deported. Why was I deported? Up to now, no one in Zambia, no government official in Zambia can give one simple reason. See a one was deported. Why was I deported? Because they are corrupt. Because they are very corrupt. That's why I was deported. They don't know the reason why they deported me. Ask anybody, you that is watching me, you know law, you understand law. Tell me, if I commit a crime in your country, what's supposed to be done? I was supposed to be arrested, taken to court, and taken to prison, not deported. If you deport me for being a crook in your country, if you deport me for being a thief in your country. What, 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 then you are giving me, uh, you, you, are, you are giving me an opportunity. You have even given me freedom. Why? They were afraid. They were afraid. <laughs> they deported me. I said it before and I'm saying it again. Even the immigration officers that were deported me said they even gave them a, an instruction to say if C1 want to ease himself, don't allow him to put his feet on the ground. If he put his feet on the ground, he can disappear. They were afraid. 
Because while I was in Zambia, I was also telling them the truth. Even if I was working with them, I was telling them the truth. But because of fear. So, Boma Lusambo saying, Sia 1 is, is the exiled Sia 1. It means it's an illiterate. Even the person that wrote that article, I know that he's an idiot. He, he doesn't know how to write. He's a cadre. He doesn't know nothing. But the person that wrote that thing to him, he must sit down and reason with that person and fire that person because that is rubbish. I'm not in exile. I go to my, I go to my, my family. I am here in South Africa. I don't have problem with anybody. So this is where I'm having problem with that. And secondly, said I'm a common. I didn't steal from anyone. I didn't come from anybody. All my cars are my cars. All my houses are my houses. Everything that I have in Zambia, they are all mine. And the same C R one stranded C R one. He says stranded C R one. Let me give you. A, let me say something that I want uh, the government of Zambia to investigate today because they are very down. <laughs> I play them like football because it's full of cadres. They know nothing. You can go to, um, what is the name of this bank? Um, Zanaco Bank. Zanaco Bank. That one in a, in a, in a, in a pan, pan, what is it? Is it that one in Salama? I don't know the name of that more. I don't know the name of that more. Tell them, how did the CIO manage to move part of his money from your bank? To another account and the account located me here the money located me here you can say you are not wise a disorganized government a cadre government they were busy looking up and down for my properties some of the things i left in zambia i don't even want them <laughs> when you say uh, uh, see i want a stranded stranded where the investment I have, just do investigation. Go to Zanaco Bank. I'm not saying for tomorrow, for today. Go to Zanaco Bank. That mall. What is the name of that mall in Salama Park? Pam, Pam, what, what? Tell, how did Siawan's money manage to move from his account to another account? Do that investigation. You are, you are, you are fools. You don't even know nothing. How I managed to move part of my money from Zambia, you don't know. Because your leadership is, is full of twin palm, yes, twin palm more. There is a Zanaco bank that is there. Ask them, how is Siawan managed to move part of his money from there? Because they are fools, they know nothing. They were up and down, running up and down, but they know nothing. Boman Lusambo said, Siawan is stranded. I'm not stranded. What I have is enough. I have more. What I have, Boman, what I have can feed your family and feed the next generation. It can feed you. What I have, go to Twin Palm and ask them from there, from Zanaco Bank. Ask questions. You are an idiot. You are a poor person. You are a kada. Without kada, how are you going to feed? Eh? I left too many things there. Up to now in Zambia. My things are too many. I don't want to talk about being stranded. I can never be stranded. I have more than enough. You spoke about whipping me, like beating me. Bowman, uh, my 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 dear, idiot. As a government, as a government, you take pleasure in whipping people. You say that you you if see one can come to Zambia, you whip me. Number one. What am I coming to do in Zambia now? Number two, I am not in Nigeria. I'm in South Africa. South Africa is not my country. South Africa is a, is a, is a, a South African country. South Africa actually is a Sadiq region, meaning I am still in your area. I want you to come to South Africa. I want you to come. Uh, forget about spiritual power. Forget about, let's, I, I won't even talk about spiritual power. I won't even do anything. Come and let's fight. Man to man. Let me teach you a lesson. Let, what you don't know is that many people who are close to me will tell you that I'm not just a prophet. You don't know me. 
let's fight man to man. Let's fight. Forget about those uh, vazilious cadres you call police officers that are following you up and down, that they don't know their work. Forget about those uh, people that are following you up and down that don't know their work. People want to beat you. Believe me. People want to beat you. If you can go one-on-one, -on -one, people will beat you. Who are you? Woman. You say you whip me. You whip me. When I was in Zambia, I met you by movie TV when I was coming down from movie TV. Were you not shaking when you saw me? Who are you? Just because you're a minister and they give you, uh, uh, you, you, know, you manipulate police. The, the some cadre police that don't know their job you manipulate them they follow you up and down follow you up and down you start beating people people are fearing the police not you minus the police if i can catch you bowman if i can catch you in south africa not spiritual power me and you because you say you whip me i will teach you a lesson you are an idiot you are a fool you are i'm not a zambian I'm a Nigerian. Understand what I'm talking about? I'm not, I'm not a Zambian that... How can you say if C1 can come to Zambia, we are going to uh, whip him by the airport? A minister is saying this. A minister is saying, you say you whip me. I want you to come to South Africa. Boma, even if you want, come with your cadres here in South Africa. South Africa is not my country. South Africa is a neutral ground. I know that if I apply for visa now to come to Zambia, you will not permit me to come. You will not give me the visa. If you really want to fight, if you say that you are strong, I'm not going to use any spiritual power, but come. I will beat you. If I don't beat you, you pee on your trousers. You know that I'm not a human being. You are an idiot. It's just as you go around harassing people, beating people. You go around mistreating innocent people. And they leave you. It's just Zambia also. Zambia, the problem with you is that uh, you, you, are, you are, I don't, I don't know how to say, you are so soft. Believe me, you are so soft. If not, who is Bowman? Look at him walking on the road. Is he walking alone? Just because you have two or three police, cadres that are following you up and down, you think you have power. Believe me, eh? The dad will catch you in Limpopo here, in Limpopo. Eh? I will teach you a lesson. I swear upon God, Father. Not spiritual lesson. Bowman, I'm here in Limpopo, in Polokwani. Come. Forget about Zambia. Zambia is your ground. Even in your ground there, I can beat you. I'm not talking about spiritual beatings, physical beating. But the problem with, with, with Zambians is that they don't even know their right. I see them, they see Bowman, they start shivering. Who is Bowman? Who is he? Who is, who is Bowman? Bowman, who is he first? Huh? Who is Bowman? Bowman is a local champion. Can he come and make noise in South Africa? Let my, my boys who will romp with him and put him in the boot. Bring him in my house. I will whip him with belt. What is Bowman? I've dealt with people and the poor man is saying if CR1 can come, we can whip him. Come to South Africa. Believe me. You make noise in Zambia. A local, you are a local champion. You know what local champion is? Zanaco Football Club. You can make noise in Zambia. You can make noise. Carry that your insult. Bring it. Cross territory. Come. Let me teach you a lesson. Such an idiot. You don't know, I was only teaching you your job description. I was telling you to say, why are you beating people up and down? Why are you beating people up and down? Why? Eh? Why are you beating people? These people that you are beating, they have families. They have children. Bowman. Put yourself in the shoes of those people that you are beating and embarrassing. How would you feel if someone beat you like that and embarrass you like that? Hmm? Do you understand democracy? That is the question I was asking you. 
Do you know that we are no longer in a military in military era? You can't just go around and start beating people. That's what I was telling you. You can't just wake up and start beating people. Anybody you see, you whip them. Anybody you see, you 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 beat them. Why? There is law. There is law. If somebody breaks the law, you don't beat them. You arrest them and take them to court. Those of you that are watching me, you are watching me now. Even if you are a cadder, put yourself in the shoes of those people that Bowman is beating up and down. How would you feel? If someone beat you like that, how would you go home and face your wife? How would you go home and face your family? And people are clapping for Bowman for beating people. All of you that are clapping for Bowman, you are fools. You don't know your right. One day he will beat you. And when he beat you, you understand the effect of local champion. Local champion don't understand law. Imagine if it was you. Okay, the president says that those people that are permitted to move around are people that are essential workers. Meaning these people have work that they are doing. A good work that they are doing. And Bowman start off from his house. Carry a camera person. The one that is holding the video and videoing him why he beats people. Even if you want to beat people, why do you want to video it? Why do you want to capture it? Why not beat them in secret and teach them a lesson in secret? Why do you want the whole world to see that you are beating people? What an insult. What an insult. Zambians, look at the people you elected. Look at the way they are treating you. They are treating you like fools. And many of you, cadders are clapping for them. Even here on this comment section, there are people that are still insulting me. There are people that are saying, see how one is this, see how one is that. You are mad. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. If, if essential workers, the camera person that is capturing those uh, camera, is he also part of, is he also part of, Part of the essential workers. What is he doing? He made the law as a lawmaker. He is breaking the law. And nobody is doing anything about it. But he is busy beating ordinary people. What type of nonsense is that? And all of you are supporting it. Essential workers. Mm -hmm. Is he part of the camera person that is following him up and down? And all of you are supporting it. Are you okay? These people are taking advantage of you. These people are taking advantage of your ignorance. These people are taking advantage of your of your of your uh, timidity. Look at, and I'm I'm telling him what he's doing is not good. Then he come to say I whip Siawan. Bowman, the dad will catch you here in Limpopo. Come, what are you talking about? Even the other time I was saying all of you, even those PF cadres. That says, see, I want, see, I want. Come here. If my boys don't line you down and beat you like children, you know that I see, I want is not a jagaban. You think I'm those prophets you meet on the road, you intimidate and they run away. No, I'm a jagaban. I'm not called jagaban for nothing. Ask my questions, they will tell you. That's the problem. This is what happens when you elect people. A person who cannot even interpret who doesn't know the difference between exile and somebody traveling willingly somebody traveling willingly he doesn't know if Bowman Lusambo can interpret my being in South Africa as exile this is to show you how the people that are making your law are they don't know nothing your leaders know nothing believe me your leaders know nothing your le your leaders are uh, your leaders are product of do as I say. And since I left Zambia, look at what is happening. Have you ever seen a country in the world where within a short period of time, they are having a, a, up to three finance ministers? Three finance ministers. They don't know what they are doing. What they are doing is try and lock. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. They don't have plan for the country. If somebody like Bowman Lusambo doesn't know how to interpret what is called 
exile and somebody traveling willingly. How is he going to interpret law for you? How is he actually going to make constitution for you? They don't know nothing. Many of them, they are cadres. They don't know nothing. That's why people are suffering. A government within a short period of time, first, it was a, 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 a Felix Mutati, finance minister. Second, Margaret Manakat. Third, they have brought this one. They don't know. They are doing try and lock. And this is how they have managed to collapse the economy completely. What is good in Zambia now? Tell me one thing that is good in Zambia. It, everything that was happening in Zambia when I was there, it was artificial. Supernatural power. Do as I say power. Since I left, what has happened? Even those of you that say, see one is lying, see one is lying. Since I left, what has happened in Zambia? Can't you see that they, are, they don't know what they are doing? Today, they changed this minister. Three finance minister, one president. Confused. Everyone is confused. Even those of you that are here writing messages and insulting me, you are confused. You don't know nothing. Hmm? The people that are making law for you don't even know the law itself. That's why today people are saying, is the president eligible to stand? Is not eligible? The same way they are discussing this and is the same way economy is going like this. Mm -hmm. Economy is going like this. Things are, things are bad. People are losing jobs. They don't know what they are doing. Things, people, the economy is zigzag, up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh man, Lusambo, you go around and start beating poor people who cannot afford mask. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I blame, I blame, I blame the president. If you, if Bowman Lusambo suffered for PF, he will not be treating poor people like the way he's treating people today. If Sata was alive today, who is Bowman Lusambo? What, what is Bowman Lusambo going to be doing in PF? If Sata was alive today, those people that fought for the young people, those people that fought for the poor masses, if Sata was alive today, they are still going to be there because they understand the cry of the people. Before I started working with PF, I knew that it was party for poor people. Poor people are those people that cannot afford masks. As a government, instead of giving them the mask, you are beating them because they are poor. They cannot afford it. Are you okay? Those people you are beating are the people that worked with Sata. They cried with Sata. You came from MMD with the mentality of beating people where you were beating Major Kachingwe and beating others. You brought it back to PF to destroy the party that is already destroyed. Okay, Bowman Lusambo, you were beating people for meeting 15 people or 20 people or 50 people in a bar. Today, your president has opened church. He says a church where thousands of people will gather. Go and beat them. Because there are thousands of people, they will gather. Can you see what is happening in PF? They don't know what to do. They make decisions. This one wake up, he make that decision. That one wake up, he make that decision. If you were beating people in a bar, in the bar, for assembling like 50 people, like 60 people, go and beat the thousands of people that will gather in churches on Sunday because they are gathering in number. Because all of you don't know what you are doing. Where President Sata is today, he's crying. He's crying. President Sata is crying. President Sata is crying. He's standing in his grave because the people that are the people that don't love the poor people have taken over the party he founded. This one that is jumping up and down, this idiot called a, a bowman Lusambo. Where was he when PF was being formed? When we are fighting for it, when giving Lubinda was coming to my house, ask him. It's just that I don't want to say many things. I, I reserved things because I know that Zambians, 
Zambians, you forget easily. You forget easily. If I can talk now and act now, you forget it. I'm waiting for election to approach. You will hear something. I told you that when I speak, those of you think that see one is a joke. See one does not know what he's talking about. For me to slow down on Zambia is because they came to me and they asked for apology and returned my things. But I told them to say I am still going to expose many things during election so that you you will lose the election and learn your lesson because you have grown wings. It, what you didn't suffer for, when others we are running up and down, that you're just that giving Lubinda was in my house. Let him deny. When everybody was running up and down, looking for a way to make PF win election, Bowman, you were not there. Bowman, you were not there. You were not there. You were busy beating Major Katingwe and your fellow cadres. Now that PF has come. An idiot like you has a audacity to say, Ezao Siawan, Ezao Siawan. Do you know what I did for PF? Do you know how many times I visited the parliament? That parliament, there. Do you know what I did in that parliament? How many times? Do you know how many nights I suffered there? You didn't suffer for PF. And you just wake up from nowhere and start beating people. The people that you are beating are the people that Sata loved. Sata loved the poor people. Sata, Sata enjoyed the poor people. Sata wanted to work with the poor people. The same poor people that Sata fought for is the people that you are beating because they don't have masks. Why you don't use the money that is donated and buy masks and distribute to the people? Eh? Here in South Africa, here in South Africa, here in South Africa, as we are talking today, the government is paying their citizens. 350 to each and every one. This is what is called the government. Even the Nigeria you are talking about, dear, the government is giving money to the citizen and buying food to the citizen. You that is a pro poor PF government, what are you doing for the people? What you are doing is to beat them. Eh? You beat them. You beat them. When people, that's uh, 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 Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa was in my house. If I, it's just that I didn't want to talk again. I wanted Zambia to calm down so that I can talk through election, during election. During election, when I finished saying what we did in Zambia, believe me, I said it. Nobody will vote. You see, Mao Sampa, let me, let me tell you something you don't know. Mao Sampa was in my house. In Zambia, giving Lubinda was there. How many of them will I mention? Look at, let me say something that I want you to reason. I want you to think about before I proceed. Those of you that know Mao Sampa when he was contesting to become a president, is that same Mao Sampa the same Mao Sampa that is here today? Is he the same one that we have today? You can see the difference. Do you know why Mao Sampa is like that? Wait, I'm going to tell you what we did. We did things. I'm telling you, I don't feel like speaking, but the, the senior members of PF, those people that are saying, CR1, please stop talking. You don't want this cadre called Boman Lusambo, that idiot that don't know nothing. You don't want him not to mention my name because he's an idiot. He's a cadre. He can't match me. What does he have? Eh? If you see Mao Sampa today, today, look at him and look at how intelligent he was when he wanted to contest the election. You know why? You know, you know what happened? Do you know the spiritual work that was done? Do you know why? How guys caught guys? Guys caught was having good guys that were going to beat the Galungu. Do you know what happened all of a sudden? I don't want to talk. I don't want to review something. I don't want to talk. I'm waiting when election is coming because Zambia, you forget easily. Check Mao Sampa today, today, as a mayor, and check a smart, intelligent man that was, that wanted to contest the president. At that time when Mao Sampa speaks, believe me, everyone, everyone thought he was going to be the president. Check him now and check him today, you can see. Mao Sampa was in my house. I know what we did. I didn't want to say anything, but this idiot called Lusambo want to put PF in trouble in time. I don't want, I'm still looking at them. 
I'm still looking at them. Sometimes they provoke me. Sometimes they want me to talk. They want the whole world to hear what I did with them. But I don't, I don't want now. I will do it during the election. Many of you thought I was joking. Many of you thought I was joking. It's a spiritual battle. I know the spiritual work I did. In Zambia, that's why I'm saying I'm telling you this PF leadership you are seeing there is led on do as I say foundation. And since I left, what is happening? Since I left, how many finance ministers are you having? First, uh, what is the name of that guy? Uh, 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 Felix Mutati fired. Second, Margaret Manakatwe fired. Third, this one has entered there this one has entered and also he doesn't know what he's doing because he does that part you see there no no vision even the president himself said it is i don't have vision i know how he won election and that's why when i tell you that hh will be the president if you want to doubt me continue doubting me because i know what i've removed i know what i've removed i know what has left zambia I'm not telling you, I'm not talking to you like things that I don't know. My house in Zambia was full of camera. All the people that have visited me are there. I just come down because you came, you begged me. And you begged me, you didn't explain to your Kada, Boma Lusambo and others. Telling them to say, please leave Siawane alone. Let him talk what he want to talk. You want to come and start misbehaving. I told you the work that you are doing is not your work. It's not your work. Bowman, the work that you are doing is not even the work of the Home Affairs Minister. The work that you are doing is the work that police are supposed to be doing. The president has given a directive saying everybody stay home. Don't go out. Don't move around. Stay home. That's what the president said. After the president said that, who's supposed to come out to enforce the law? It's the police. It's the law enforcers. It's not you as a lawmaker. Your duty, Lusambo, was supposed to be sit down in your house. Monitor if these people are working well. Or they are not talking well. Monitor it. If they are not working well, if the police are not working well, they would not even come to you to report that they are not working well. They will go to Campiongo, who is the minister of home affairs, and say, Campiongo, the work you have given to us is too big for us. We need advice. We need reinforcement. Only then that Campiongo will delegate more forces. It's not you. Sit down in your house. Sit down in your house. Stop gallivanting. Stop moving up and down like chicken without a head. Go and sit down. S come, uh, what is your name? Bowman, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm telling you, sit down. Stop gallivanting. You, you are busy from here to here. You go and beat people. You go and beat people. It's not your way. You are a lawmaker. You are a lawmaker. You create the law. Allow the law enforcers to enforce it. Even your fellow ministers are laughing at you. <laughs> your, your fellow ministers, they are laughing at you. They are laughing at you. You, you are like a chola boy to them. You are like a messenger. They are looking at you. Mis de destroying yourself. You are just a clown moving up and down, gallivanting and beating people. It's not your responsibility. If those guys, the police, are failing to do the work, the police are going to go to their boss and report. You are not even their boss. You are a mugu. Mumu. Mugu mugu. That's what you are. You don't know. You see, this is the problem we have. The, the president, 
gives an order. Law enforcers, which is the police officer, which you are not. You are just a cadre. Your ministry is not even a full ministry. You are a provincial minister. People that are having big ministry are not even talking. People that are having big ministry are not even making noise. People that are even technocrats in PF are not making noise. You, a cadre that don't know anything, you don't even know how to spell your name. I want you to just say COVID. I want you to, I want you to say coronavirus. You can't even say it. If you have to say, I saw where they were interviewing you on, uh, on Diamond TV. You don't even know how to say coronavirus. They are, they are interview you don't know how to fight a spell or say coronavirus. How are you going to fight coronavirus? <laughs> eh? My brother, sit down. We have seen people like you. There are people like uh, William Banda, the son to former president. Where is he today? Is he not humbled? Next year you'll be humbled. You will remember C1, you'll be humbled. Next year you'll be humbled. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You'll be humble. You will go back to being a cap. You will go back to being a a a a, a cadre. How many cases do you have? Hmm? Who has beaten you? After beating Major Kachingwe, who bet who beat you? If people are not beating you for breaking the law, why are you beating people? Hmm? Why are you beating people? Go and sit down. Even the same PF that is already a white elephant, that is already finished, you are continuing to finish it. The people that sat allowed that are the poor people, it's not the rich people. It's not. What Sata fought for today has been put on that carpet and destroyed. What Sata fought for, what Sata fought for, believe me, has been destroyed. Look at the people that are ruling a, 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 a PF today. Look at them. How many of them we are the fighters? Those people that we are being tear gassed together with Satan. How many of them are still in government? Eh? How many of them are still in government? All of them are chased. All the people that fought with Satan, all of them are chased. The people that are reaping now are thieves. Those people that sat a, the, the, even the one that sell the, sold the Zamtel, they are back and they are made. And you think that Sata is not watching. Let me tell you something you don't know. I don't know whether you believe in heaven or believe in hell. Spirit does not die. Anywhere Sata is, Sata is crying. To see Dora Celia making decision in a party that he formed, Sata, his spirit will not spare you. All of you, believe me. Believe me, his spirit will never spare you. All the things you are doing today, all the things that you are doing in his party, chasing away all the people that worked with him, his spirit will not scare you. He will not spare you. He will teach you a lesson. All of you, spirit does not die. Spirit is alive. All those people that fought with Satan, they were tear gas together, beaten together by MMD. The same MMD that was chased in power, they are back now. They are the people ruling. Look at Dora Celia saying Prime TV is closed. Under which party? A party that you insulted the owner. You called him all sorts of names. Eh? Eh? You are back. Many of them. How many will I count? They are back. And the people that are suffering. Mm -hmm. Even you are watching me now. You are a PF cadre. You can know that you are not benefiting anything. In PF, it's only few people who are benefiting, who are feeding their pockets. They are filling their pockets. They are, they, are, they are filling their pockets. You are, you are a cadre. You don't benefit anything. The only thing you benefit is a goat meat pepper soup. You eat and they buy you one bottle of beer. After drinking it, you say, oh, PFO, PFO, PFO. You are an idiot. You are like, you are like Esau. You are selling your bath, birthright. You are selling your better. Those guys are they, they, those guys are gathering millions. The same way, how can somebody who was selling 
who saw the uh, 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 sample come back today and be somebody that will come and make decision in the country? Does he love the poor? If he loved the poor in the first place, he was not going to sell Zamtel. How about Bowman? You call yourself MMD diehard. Today you are presidential bootlicker. You don't know your things. President Lungu, you know, there is still time for you. I know that next year you are not winning. But the little time that you have to stay, even if it's one month, two months, if I can advise you, I know that you may take my advice, you may not take my advice. But if I can advise you, some of this, uh, 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 some of these uh, ministries that you have, they are useless. They don't know. They don't know. They don't. They actually don't know uh, wh why you appointed them. They don't know. You know, the Zambia is, is having a population of 15 million people. It's a very small country. Why not remove some of these ministries? Like that minister of Boma Lusambo. Why not remove it? Use the money that you are wasting on that ministry and use it to buy masks so that everyone will have masks. You can actually buy food for your citizen. Let your citizen eat because they are staying at home. Hmm? Look at Ministry of Chiefs. What are those ministries for? Eh? How about Ministry of, uh, Ministry of Religious Affairs? What is it for? Some of these ministries, Sata wouldn't even allow people, poor people are suffering. How much is milli meal in Zambia? If you love the people, why not disband some of these ministries that don't know what they are doing? Disband these ministries and use the money to help the poor people. Buy food for the people using the money you pay for this useless ministry. If that ministry was having something to do, a minister can never wake up and start loitering around the road, up and down, beating people. No. Do you know what a minister is? Do you know what a minister is? Do you know what a minister is? It's because they don't have anything doing. Why do you have ministries that have nothing doing? Zambia is little. The population is so little. Please, why not reduce your cabinet? I am begging you, why not reduce your cabinet? Remove some of these useless ministries. The few days that you have, the few years that you have to sp spend there being a president, why not make things right so that when you leave, Zambian people will have something good to talk about you. Why do you want to keep somebody like Bowman Lusambo who is destroying your name up and down? He doesn't know, okay, Bowman Lusambo is beating people for gathering 50 people. For gathering 20 people, 30 people in a bar. Today you have asked thousands of people to go and congregate. Are you not contradicting yourselves? Eh? Mayor is a no for a city. You have this, you have this, you have that. For what? What is it for? These people are destroying your things. Things that have already been destroyed, they are finishing it. Next year... You will cry. When you lose the election, you will cry. And you will remember me. I know that I've been receiving calls. See, I want this. See, I want that. See, I want, please forgive. See, I want this. See, I want that. But uh, even if you will never be president next year, God has rejected you. Satan has rejected you. Our ancestors has rejected you because you don't know what you are doing. Look at your, your friends. Your friends are busy fighting Corona. Bob Lusambo is campaigning. He's wearing hoodies with your head on it. You can't call him and say, no, okay, Corona is a serious issue. This is not about politics. Please remove that thing. Wear something normal and stay at home, not even to move around. Why is uh, Campiongo at home? Because he knows the work he's doing. He trusts his boys. If Campiongo can trust his boys, who is Boman Losambo? Who is a kata? Hmm? Eh? Look at the type of people that are ruling you. Who don't know the difference between Ezar and, the, and, the, and, the, and the somebody traveling on his own? Hmm? Look at the type of people that... Look at... People in Zambia don't actually know that Zambian economy is gone. Zambian economy. 
is gone. Zambian economy is gone. It is dead. How much was your kwacha before Satari based it? Many of you are, are looking at it today and say, our kwacha has value. Don't forget the double zero you remove from there. Even after removing that double zero, your kwacha has flown within a short space of time. Your kwacha has made South African currency. Again, today I was looking, it's trading at 1818. 1818, Zambian kwacha 18, South African kwacha 18. Even after you removing, your kwacha is flying again. Very soon it will add that zero zero again and you spend millions rebasing it again because of leaders that don't have vision. Young people, what are you doing? I said it. I said it before. That, that government was running on top of do as I say. And since I removed it, look at what is happening. From one blunder to blunder, from one blunder to Look at what your president did today. Look at your president. <laughs> God. Me, yeah, I don't I don't know what came over me to help those people. I really don't know what came over me. But look at where the whole world is shivering. America is failing to contain mm -hmm. coronavirus. The whole country is shaking. Zambian president, people, you are watching me from all over the world. You are watching me from all over the world, listening to what happened to Zambia today. If you go to Tanzania, people are crying now because the president refused to close churches. Today, Zambia president has opened churches. That is why I said, and I always say, religion will kill Africa one day. I'm telling you, one day we shall wake up and discover that religion was just useless. The everyone is suffering today. The president is saying, I have opened churches to go and do what? Let me educate you, he says, Silence. I know that you have advisors, but they don't know how to advise you. You need to start employing intellectuals to start advising you. Please, he says, Silence. Remove religion, remove religion, religion, remove it, it's dead. He says, Silence. What you needed to do now, actually, between bars and the church, I would have asked you to open bars so that the country will have money coming in. Church will not give you any money to run your country. You must be realistic. Don't be too spiritual. Spiritual is going to deceive you. Look at what is happening in Tanzania. If the, the president of Tanzania, he's a spiritual father, is our, 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 our father in the Lord, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. If senior Prophet T.B. Joshua would close his church because of Corona, what, what is the president of Tanzania doing opening the church? Corona is spreading everywhere now. And he's shy, he's now shy to close the church. His Excellency, that is the step that you want to follow. If you wanted to learn something from the president of Tanzania, it's not spiritual things. It's supposed to be physical things. What you are supposed to learn from president of Tanzania is how to fight corruption. Arrest those people that bought those fire trucks. Arrest them and put them in cell. Find the owner of the 48 houses. Arrest him and put him in cell. The people that are smuggling mukulas, His Excellency, find them. That is what you are supposed to copy from the minister, uh, from the president of Tanzania. Not religion. Religion will not take us anywhere. It won't take us anywhere. The only thing that will take us somewhere is a relationship between us and God. And that relationship cannot be found in church. It cannot be found in a mosque. It cannot be found anywhere else except between us and God. Why? Look at the type of leadership Zambia is having. Mm -hmm. People must gather so that, so that what happens? They can die in numbers. They can die in multitude. What will you gain? I love my people. I love my people. Who do you love? If you love them, protect them. God is not in the church. 
God is not in the mosque. God is in us. That's why the Bible says, if Christ be in you, he didn't say if Christ be in church. He said if Christ be in you. He didn't say if Christ be in church. You cannot find God in church. You cannot find God in the mosque. God is in you. People will go and die in church. And people will come and say, hey, but we are praying and they will die. And God will tell you, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Be very, very careful. Be very, very, very careful. The people that are advising you are not advising you well. I know the time you were climbing to be the president. I know the type of person you are. It's far away from who you are. You have to edit. I know that you are watching this program. I know that you watch this program. When you watch this program, sit down and think about it. Think about yourself. Think about the people of Zambia and think about God. Think about Sata. Think about these people. Forget about those people that are surrounding you, that are giving you useless advices. You are opening church. What is it for? What is it for? Okay. For example, you will open your church today. People, you say you must go to church with uh, the, the, the precautions that has been given. One of the precautions is that you must wear a mask as you go out in public. Tell me, how are the choir members going to sing in church with mask? Does it make sense? Okay, how about the papa that will preach in church? He's supposed to wear a mask. He's supposed to wear a mask. Okay, if he wear a mask, how is he going to preach? The people that are supporting, the people that are advising you, fire them, they don't know nothing. If you want, I can be giving you advice. The people that are advising you, they are nothing. God is everywhere. You don't need to go to church. Everyone must stay home. And be safe. Church does not finish. Even we are going to die. Next generation that will come. They will still meet churches. They will come and see churches here. They will find the Roman Catholic here. They will find why do you want to put people's life in danger? Because you want to please the church. You want to please few people. Few individuals. Thousands of people are dying. In America. President Lungu, I know that you have not been to Pentecostal churches. I mean, re Pentecostal churches. You have not been there. If you have been, I don't think they know how to pray. If you see when Pentecostal churches are praying, you know that saliva can can saliva only saliva like this can transmit corona. Have you seen Pentecostal people preaching? They will spit on themselves, and corona will spread everywhere. Think about this. Church will not bring income to your country. Believe me. If I'm to if, if you tell me to say, see one between church and uh, and uh, bar, choose which one I should open. I say open bar. Something that will bring income to your country. Your country, there is no money. People are crying. Believe me. You need tasks coming in. You need tasks coming in. People must be bringing tasks so that you keep things running. Look at other countries that are opening things up. Look at South Africa. Look at other countries that are opening things up. They are opening something that will bring income to them. If you open church, only papas and mamas will benefit. Only papas and mamas will benefit. Why do you want few individuals to benefit and thousands of people dying for nothing's sake? Eh? There is no bar that is accommodating 2,000 people in Zambia. I was in Zambia. There is no bar that is accommodating. In fact, in Zambia, you can, you can manage to tell people in bar to sit one here, one here, one here, one here. You can manage to control corona in bar than church. Have you seen this our Pentecostal church is doing deliverance? Shake it, people are falling like, a, like a dead people on top of each other. Like dead fishes on top of each other. Those things are the things that can transmit corona. Who is advising you, president? 
The same people that are advising you are the same people that are destroying the country. If I was to talk to you today, sir, if I was to call you today and speak to you, I would tell you number one, because things are bad. Some of your ministries close it. Ministry like chiefs and tradition. Ministry like provincial ministry. What is it for? There, is, there are mayors there. There are DCs there that can do the work. All those money, people are crying. The people that worked for Zambia, they have not. They are. They are crying for their benefits. They worked very hard. They labored very hard. They cry. They worked for the country under the rain, under the sun. They worked so hard. They worked so hard. They worked so hard to build the country. Now they have retired. They have not been given their benefit. If I were you, I was going to remove some of these ministries. This ministry that don't know what they are doing. You can see that your ministry of, uh, of uh, Lusaka is colliding, is taking over the work of Stephen Campion. If you can remove some of, some of these ministries, you will use the money to pay retirees, pay people that sacrifice for the country. And God will bless you. And Satan's spirit will bless you. But you cannot do it. You cannot do it. Because there are no people that are advising you. Who told you to open churches? Eh? Who told you to open churches? People will die. His Excellency, learn something from Tanzania. Even in America, if America with all the facilities they have is failing to contain uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, 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 that uh, is failing to contain this coronavirus, what is Zambia? Who is that? What, which hospital do you have in Zambia? Eh? How many people are you, have you tested in Zambia now, today as we are talking? How many people have you tested in Zambia? Other countries are talking about, South Africa is talking about 100 and something thousand. Other countries, 100 and thousand, 50 something thousand. You have not, you don't even have the capacity to test 20,000 and you want to open a church. You want people to die in masses. Eh? You want people to die in masses. Who is advising you? I don't hate Zambia. I love Zambia. The reason why I'm talking about Zambia, I said I'm not going to talk to, about Zambia again until I review what I know during election and see who will vote for them. I didn't want to talk because, you know, Zambia, you forget this easily. If I can talk today, they will call you for national prayer tomorrow. You forget it. I want to talk when you, when election comes. And they are saying, see, we are going to, we are going to do this, we are going to do that. <laughs> Ah, I just laugh. <laughs> See, one, uh, we are going to, we are going to do this. We are going to do. I received messages threatening me. We are going to kill you. What are you going to use to kill me? Gun? Or you have also acquired supernatural power? Or you are now a member of Godfather? Eh? You are now a member of Godfather. The only person that can kill me here on earth is Godfather. Apart from him, even Jesus Christ cannot kill me. If the only person I fear here is Godfather, if I said I say it everywhere, if 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 prayer was going to kill me, I was going to be dead long time ago. If Jesus Christ was going to be killed, me, I was going to be dead long time ago. The Holy Ghost fire that you are sending me from Zambia, it does not kill me. It does not do anything to me. That's what I'm saying. Even Jesus Himself cannot kill me. The only person that can kill me today, as we are talking. It's Godfather. Mm -hmm. If Godfather calls me today and say, Andrew, your assignment on earth is enough. I will surrender and go. Apart from that, who are you? I was in Zambia. How many times did you try to arrest me? I was seated in my room. How many times? How many times did you try to arrest me? How many times did immigration come to my house? I was seated in my room, but they were looking for me. They did not find me. Am I not the one who handed myself over to immigration? How many times did they try? They didn't find me. Who are you? Who are you? We are, we are going to assassinate him. Assassinate what? 
Oh god, that's nice. <laughs> so, you know, be very careful. Be very, very careful. Uh, today, I just wanted to talk about this uh, 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 idiot who called himself uh, 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 Lusaka province minister. People of Zambia, I, I, I just... Uh, I just feel sorry for you because some of you don't know your right. You don't know your right. You don't know. You don't know your right. Somebody can beat you, and after beating you, you don't even know what to do. There is no law on earth in a democratic country that allows somebody to abuse you. When somebody abuses you, you must report them to the police. And the problem now is that uh, if you report them to police, which police? The same police that is following Bowman up and down. Hmm? Hmm? Be very careful. Bowman, but the reason why I'm talking to you physically, I don't want to do, do if I want today. Godfather always say, see I want. And when he's addressing us in the group, he always say, don't use a stone made for an elephant on a bed no matter how much noise the bed makes don't use it that's why you Bowman. that's why you are talking believe me and the reason why many of you i don't want to enter your spiritual is because i want you to cry i want to see how you cry next year i want you to cry i want to see tears from your eye pf people i want to see that's why many of you i spare you if not, I've dealt with people, prayerful people. I mean pray, people who are praying. They are praying on the mountain. They are praying. Shiki baba, shiki baba. I, I meet them where they are praying. They are spiritually and knock them there. They don't wake up from prayer. I wake them spiritually. Then who are you? You don't even know how to pray. I, I deal with people like that. Believe me. How many of them? They, how, you want me to start mentioning them? I can't. So I don't, don't remove my mouth, my my name from your mouth. Remove it. I don't want to hear my name from your mouth again. I don't want. Let us wait for 2021. Let us wait. Since I left Zambia, tell me one thing that they have achieved. The kwacha keeps falling. The kwacha keeps falling. Millimeter price, look at how it's rocketing. Eh? The poor people, this is the time that a good leaders, leaders like South African leaders, Nigerian leaders, this is the time that they are supposed to be looking after their children. Saying, oh, my children are not eating. Oh, my children are suffering. Oh, my children are not working. Let us give them something. Instead of giving them something, you go and start beating them because they don't have mask. Many of them don't even have money to buy mask. If Sata was alive, he wouldn't allow you to do that. Eddie Galungu, look at the type of people you have surrounded yourself with. He even opened his mouth and said, I'm using the, I will use the law within myself. What type of rubbish is that? What type of nonsense is that? Eh? What type of nonsense is that? And I talk, you say you whip me if I come to your country. You are, you are, you are, you are not even ashamed. A grown-up man like you that was supposed to follow me here in South Africa to come and fight with me. You are saying if I come to your country. It means you don't have power. If you have power, come here. Come here. Come here in South Africa. Let me teach you a lesson. Believe me. Somebody say when Naira is doing well to dollar. Of course, na you can't compare Naira to Kwacha. If you say you, you want to whip C1, don't wait for me to come there. I'm not even in my in my country. I'm in South Africa, a neutral ground. Come here. Let us fight man to man. <laughs> Let me teach you a lesson now. Let me show you that you are I'm an able boy. You don't know nothing. You are a local champion. 
a Galavanta. You are just a you are just a, a Zanaco football club. Come outside and play international match. Let us see your power. You are making noise in Zambia. Come here. Come here. Come here, here. Don't say when I come to what, what am I coming to do? Bowman, if you if you say you are you are strong, you have power, come mm -hmm. to South Africa. Believe me, you see the way you are treating Zambia. Zambia, be careful. These people are taking you like fools. They are taking you like fools. When they do, ha, you run away. That's why the opposition party you have there, they are they are mouthless. The opposition party you have there, those opposition party you have there, mouthless. They are as good as nothing is happening. If not, in a country where you are an opposition, a minister go and start beating people and you are quiet. What are you talking about? Eh? There is no, there is no opposition in Zambia. They are just, they are doing nothing. I wish I was a Zambian. I wish I was a Zambian. I wish I had the, I had the, I had the, the qualification to become an opposition. There you come and beat a citizen with a cane. You are an idiot. Is he your child? Is he your child? Even your child, Bowman, do you beat your children at home? There is a man that has been, that was arrested. Look at Zambians. A man that was arrested for slapping his child. He was arrested and he was meant to ask for apology from that young child. Bowman is going around beating people with the police and no one is even, no one, not even one opposition leader is talking about it. If beating a child at home, if beating a child at home is a crime, what happens when you go around beating grown-up people? What happens? And all of you are clapping. All of you that are clapping for Bowman Lusambo, you are, you are zombies. You don't know your right. One day he will beat you. Believe me. Beating people is against the law. You, you want to copy what is happening in India? Have you seen a minister beating people in India? Police are doing their work. All the ministers are in their houses, pressing computer, watching CNN. What is happening? Is the number increasing? Is the number decreasing? Mm -hmm. What is other countries doing? This idiot is gallivanting up and down. And people are saying he's working hard. Are you mad? What do you know by working hard? Eh? As a minister, you are a technocrat. Both you and your PF, your PS, supposed to be working together. What can we do? What can we do? Not gallivanting up and down, showing yourself on camera so that people will know that you are working. Such rubbish can only happen in Zambia. It can never happen. Eh? Zambians, wake up! Opposition leaders in Zambia, wake up! Stop sleeping. Stop sleeping! Opposition Aka in the Chilema, Harry Kalaba, uh, Nefas Mumba, uh, 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 mention them, mention them, uh, 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 what all these opposition leaders wake up and defend your people. These people are playing with you. Believe me, these people are playing with you. Wake up and defend your people. Wake up and defend your people. Because you are not doing anything. You are afraid as a leader. You are afraid as a leader. That is why PF wakes up and makes decisions without thinking about it because they know nobody will do anything about it. That is not the way it's supposed to be in a democratic era. Wake up. Wake up. Put things in order. There are so many people from PF, I'm telling you inside PF, that are telling me, see, Awan, you are the only, you are the only savior that we'll have. See, Awan, continue talking. They are from PF. They know that P those people in PF, when you, even those cadres, those people who are in South Media, many of them, they don't even have food at home. They are cadres. Their duty is to jump. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ah, ah. They have nothing at home. 
Even those that will go and write a very big, 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 big things against me. They have nothing at home. Only people that are benefiting in PF are those people that Satan never loved. Those are the people that look at look at them gallivanting up and down. Look at them making decisions that Satan cannot make. Look at them. Eh? And you are there. Opposition party, you are there. What is happening? Hmm? All my children in Zambia are crying. Papa, help us. Papa, save us. Papa, talk for us. Even men of God. <laughs> men of God. Men of God. What are you doing in Zambia? When I was in Zambia, I was telling them the truth. Even if I was working with them. I was telling them the truth. And there was order. They respected the people. They loved the people. I was telling them the truth. Eh? I was telling them the truth. I was telling them the truth. But men of God, what are you doing? You are not doing anything. They are beating your people. And you don't do anything. Honorable Chishimba Kambuli, you are there. You are not talking. Eh? Calabar. HH. Look at what these people are doing to your people and you are quiet. What is going on? Today, your president made a decision. A decision that me, I was thinking when I saw it, I thought it was a joke. But it's reality. Your president made a decision and all of you are quiet. When people start dying, you will say, see, I want to sacrifice in them. You will say, uh, you will start blaming God. Even God, Jesus himself said, thou shalt not tempt God. You cannot tempt God. At this point in time, everyone was supposed to be sitting at home. Everyone was supposed to be quiet at home. Your president opens church and all of you are quiet. Are you okay? Eh? Just because of few papas that will start benefiting now. Something that will not benefit your country. Churches are not paying taxes to your country. Your country is running short of money. There is no money. People are running up and down like headless chicken. They fire Manakatwe. They fire Mag uh, uh, what is the name? Mutati. They, fire. they don't know what to do because there is no money. You are supposed to open something that will bring money to you. Then you go and open church. To please who? Who do you want to please? The president. Hmm? Who has advised you this type of advice? I feel sorry for old PF members. I see all the messages, everything you are sending me. I want to cease fire for now because I'm respecting uh, uh, coronavirus. I just came to uh, a lecture Boman Lusambo, because I see also that thing that was posted. It's not the one that wrote it. It's not intelligent. It's a Dao Fu. He's a local champion. He's a village head. He's, he sees himself as a as a the, 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 the head boy. When we are going to school, there is this head boy that always control the class. That is how Boman Lusambo wants to rule Zambia. <laughs> but he doesn't know that he's not even a minister. It's a provincial minister. <laughs> Imagine what will happen if he becomes a full minister. <laughs> That's why the president cannot make him a full minister because it will be a disaster. So I came to lecture him that I was not, I'm not in exile. I'm in South Africa, in Limpopo. I go to Nigeria, my country. I go to any other country that I want to go. I don't, I'm not in exile. So the person that wrote that rubbish for him must be fired. I know he cannot manage to read or write. This is the type of leaders you have. People of God. Zambian people. I want to leave you with this word. Before I start taking your questions. Before I start um, uh, answering your questions. You are a poor person. And... Think about it. What is happening in PF now? 
was it going to happen if Sata was alive? Eh? It was not going to happen. Dorasilia was nowhere going to be. Dorasilia was going to be sleeping in cell now uh, and snoring from cell. Uh, uh, not gallivanting up and down and making decisions. Because she was having a case. Who sold Zamtel? Have you forgotten who sold Zamtel? Who was giving Satamido finger in the parliament? Was he not Dorasilia? Who vowed that you, they would never be alive to see? Sata become president. Are they not the one enjoying right now? Eh? The people, what PF, the reason why all of us join hands together to work for PF to take over from MMD is because PF loved poor people. PF was a, a party for poor people. PF was not a party for thieves. It was not party for bullies like Bom and Lusambo. It was a party that knew how to address people. It was a party that when he saw that people were not having masks, he was going to give them mask. There is a lot of money donated already. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? A lot of millions have been donated. Why not buy masks? And give to people that don't have money to buy it. Why not use part of those money and buy milli meal, buy food for people because they are home. Zambia is not big. Zambia is only 15 million people. Other countries are doing it. Why not do it? Hmm? Why not do it? I will leave you here. I want to. I want to answer your questions. Let your questions be questions that is going to make sense to me. I don't want, I'm not talking as a cadre. Even those of you that want to insult C1 for saying the truth, mm -hmm. that always want to insult me for saying the truth, you know within yourself that what C1 is saying is the truth. C1 does not uh, have time to entertain anybody because I don't want anything from anybody. If you want to ask me a question, you ask me a question and I'm going to answer your questions. But let your question be a question that makes sense, not a cadre question. Understand what I'm talking about? God bless you. Samora Abuela say, wow, you have data. We had forgotten the Zamtel issue. Of course, Zambia forget quickly. That is why you see me, I kept quiet. I said something about Mao Samba. I will leave you with this question because by, during the time of election, when election is about to come, I'm going to make a revelation that will shock the whole world. I want to give you an assignment. Look at Mao Samba today. Before he wanted to contest the presidency, he was, uh, he was uh, that time was when he came to meet me. And by then, I was already supporting Edi Galungu. He was very intelligent. Look at him that time and look at him now. You will see a big difference. I will come to talk about that. You will know, you will understand that I'm not joking. PF is a do as I say foundation. It's, I, it's my spiritual work that put them there. Thank you. Let us... Take your question. See, one long time our churches are mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. Hope you heard. That was a very wrong decision. I believe the president must watch the video and think about it again. Because when you are in ignorance and you are talking to God, God will not answer you. God will allow you to die. When you die, you are asking God, why did you allow me to die? Because I was praying. God will tell you, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Mines Diamond, Papa, you are powerful. I love you, Mines from Zambia. God bless you. What is the relationship between Jesus and Godfather? I think I've explained this thing before. There is God, our Father, which is, which is in heaven. There is Jesus, his Son, which is in heaven. And there is Godfather, my spiritual Father, who is here on earth. I wish President Lungu can take your advice. Of course, I know... 
there is a lot of people watching we had seven thousand something people tuning in i know that even his people have tuned in even him have tuned in i know that he will listen to me one thing i want to tell bootlickers one thing i want to tell bootlickers those people that support rubbish there was a time that uh, president lungu removed kaiser zulu from his uh, <clears throat> position as a presidential advisor on uh, politics what what many of you expected that president would have appointed one kada many of you would have, would have expected that president would have appointed one of those people that are praising him up and down what did he do he went and appointed the somebody that was always writing rubbish against him somebody that was always against him he appointed that person because he know that people that surrounded him cannot tell him the truth they he will only hear the truth from somebody that knows the truth that's why he appointed that young man there in state house today that's why he appointed him those of you that are, are here fighting me see a one you are you are you are bitter see a one the president will listen to this thing and he will learn something from here and he will come and be and be embarrassed do you know how many pf leaders that i speak to today as i'm talking to you it's not tomorrow do you know so very very soon you will see what will happen I love you. I love what you say. I get uncomfortable when you speak ill of Jesus Christ. I never spoke ill of Jesus Christ. I never spoke ill of Jesus. Have I spoken ill about Jesus? I quote, Liquo is one. I didn't understand what you say. Man of God, how much have you donated to Nigerian people? I, I would have loved that you left your question there. I have donated... A whole lot of money not just to nigeria i've donated money here in south africa nigeria zimbabwe i live for the people you when you come to my church when you come to people that are close to me they will tell you that see i want love the people i love the people i love the people very very much i love the people what are you going to say if pf PF will not win. It's my do as I say power, spiritual power that put them there. I have removed it. And since I've removed it, I don't want to review something. Please don't provoke me to talk. Wait. Let next year come. You will see. See, I want Chilufa style insulted you. You didn't see the video. I didn't see the video. I've never seen him insult me before. He has respect for me. I don't know if the insult was today. See, one, you are bitter against us. No, I'm not. Be I love Zambia. If I if if I don't love Zambia, I will not be spending my time to come and defend the people of Zambia. You yourself know that things are bad in Zambia. Things are bad. Things. When I say things are bad, things are bad. Very soon you will see it for yourself, and the government will say no because of Corona. Our country collapsed. Your yeah, country is not the only country that is having corona. Here today, as we are talking, the, 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 the president has released how many billions citizens are receiving money. In every country, including the West country, Nigeria, citizens are receiving money. But in Zambia, who has received money? They are not receiving anything. Instead, they are being beaten for not having masks. Is it everybody that have money to buy masks? Why not buy it and distribute to the people? Mm -hmm. See, where are you located in Limpopo? I'm in mean, Polokwane. When you come to Limpopo and ask, where is Siawan? They will bring you. I don't even, I don't even, I don't hide myself. I'm open. You can even see me on the street because I'm a Jagaban. I fear nothing. If you say your head is too big, we will remove it and throw it on the ground. It will happen in your eye like this. Uh, people, uh, what are you talking about? That is, uh, forget it, man. What is Godfather saying about Prime TV? <laughs> Even you people of Zambia, what are you saying about Prime TV? What are you saying about Prime TV? That is the only voice that opposition is using to speak. 
and your government close it and you are quiet. Heaven help them that help themselves. I'm quiet because I also want you. I also want you, you, to also do something. Sia one and Bowman Sambo was saying Sia one is a self-confessed satanist. <laughs> That's the useless thing about religion. Just because you, you, are, you are having supernatural power. I, I ask this question again. What makes somebody satanist? I never say I'm a satanist because I've never seen Satan before. If you call me a satanist, you must show me how Satan looks like. Because I've never seen him before. People say, see, I want is a satanist because I'm speaking for the people that don't have voice. Their opposition is quiet. Their opposition cannot speak. I am speaking for them. They are crying. Nobody's hearing their cry. I am speaking for them. And people say, see, I want is a satanist. What do you mean by satanist? I've never seen Satan before. I believe in supernatural power. Because our forefathers had power before Christianity came here. Before Muslim came here. How were they healing their sicknesses and diseases before Christianity came here? How, how were they surviving before Christianity came here? I mean our forefathers. Why were they living 100 years to, they, some, some of them were even living ho, to, ho, 150 years. Some of them were even living many, many years. Us that have Jesus, we die at the age of 50. We die at the age of 60. We, we die at the age of 70. When we die at the age of 90, it's a celebration. But we have Jesus. I'm not saying Jesus is not good. Jesus is good. I love Jesus. But if you look at me as a Satanist, because I'm talking about supernatural power, you are a disgrace to our ancestors. Because they were here even before they brought Jesus to us. When did the Christianity come to, Niger to come to Africa? When did the Christianity come to Africa? Ask yourself this question. You are a disgrace to our forefathers. Those people that were killed because of Christianity, you are a disgrace to them. Do you even know how Christianity was forced to our forefathers? Many of them we are beaten. Many of them we are killed. Many of them we are insulted. Many of them we are brutalized just to receive Christianity. And today, because I'm, I'm saying that I believe in supernatural power, I work with supernatural power, you come and tell me that Siawan, you're a Satanist. You are a disgrace to our forefathers. The, fa the, forefather, the father that gave birth to your father, father, you are an insult to him. If you deny him today because of religion, then you are mad. That is why things are bad in, in Africa. When a white man dies at the age of 70, they bury him, he will go and rest in peace. But when a, a person, a grown-up person dies in Africa, our mamas and papas that grow old, when they die in Africa, we start sending Holy Ghost fire to them. We start calling them ancestral spirit. We start calling them uh, evil spirit. We start sending Holy Ghost fire to them. They can't rest in peace because of religion. But when a white man dies, he rests in peace. No one is sending Holy Ghost fire to their grandparents that died. But in Africa today, prophet will tell you, your problem is coming from your grandfather. A person that's supposed to be resting in peace, that deserves respect. Our ancestors are in the grave crying because we are sending Holy Ghost fire to them because of religion. You are an idiot for that. God is good. Jesus is good. Supernatural power is good. Don't abandon your culture. Questions. Come and form a political party who will vote for you. <laughs> uh, th this one say this one is just a traditional healer, of course. A traditional healer that has power is better than a prophet. You think I will I will refuse? <coughs> I never refuse anything. <laughs> Let me tell you something you don't know. <laughs> the people I used to work with. One day they recorded me, they, they say, they recorded me where I was uh, talking about beer and they, you know, <laughs> and uh, beer issue. One also recorded me where I was smoking. <coughs> and uh, 
they said they they wrote me a message they said see i want we need money if you don't send us money we are going to expose you <laughs> i said you expose me for what because uh, i drink i was drinking eh? you caught me drinking yeah. and uh, you caught me smoking yes you have the picture say send it to me send it to me i posted it myself so that everyone can see i am a prophet that has power a prophet that want to change the life of africa anything you call me a smoker is good a drunker a, a a person that drink is good a person that sells drug oh glory <laughs> What anything you want to call me, call me. I don't care. I don't. When I say I don't care, I don't care. Anything that you want to call me, call me. I don't care. Anything you want to talk about, anything you want to post about, if you don't have it, give me. I post it. People come to me because of power. Because I'm the. I'm. I'm. I'm I. There is no one in Africa, apart from people in our club there in Godfather, that has power. More than see a one. If that person has power, let that person come to stadium. Let us go and challenge power. Let us make rain and send rain. Let us let us do things. People come to me for power. So anything you want to talk, talk. Anything you want to call me, you call. Anything you you have, you want to say because you see that I'm saying the truth. You want to say I was uh, exposed a one. If you don't, if you have sent me, let me expose myself. <laughs> because I don't even care. When you know what care is, care. Send me, send me your question. Let us see your question. Say something about Bishop Imakando and Bushri asking for offering. I don't say something for individuals. I am too big to talk about individuals. Who, who, who is that? I'm, that I'm supposed. I don't talk about one individuals. I'm talking for Africa. I'm talking for countries. I'm saying religion must come out of our head and develop a relationship with Jesus Christ and develop a relationship with God. Straight. My son is nine years old. He loves you so much because he speaks the truth. Wow, get through. Get through. Send me your account number on my WhatsApp plus 278-993-5144. Let me bless that nine years old child. Talk about your fellow Nigerians who are being arrested in China. If you do something bad in a country, they will, they will arrest you. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? <laughs> Don't come here to paint China black. China is better than America. When are you in Avondale? I remember when I used to be there in Avondale. I was, I was even laughing. Uh, Bowman Losambo say he is, he is waiting for me at the airport to beat me. I was uh, I went to with Commander One to go and buy goat meat because when I was in Zambia I used to love goat meat so much. And uh, I met these people. I was driving a very small car because I didn't want people to know that it was here one. I was driving a very small car. And then when I packed my car, I saw they packed their I'm praying our phone don't crash because it's showing me a sign now that it went to crash. When I went to park my car, I I saw these six guys. This guys. I saw this is guys, this is guys wanted to fight me. When I came out from the car and started fight, six of them, they ran. <laughs> I wanted to beat them hands down with my hand. Mm -hmm. These good guys in Zambia, in Salama Park. I used to stay there. Everybody know me. Everybody mm -hmm. know me there. So, uh, uh, Boma Sambose went to... 
whip c1 i want him to him to come to Limpopo. Our network is already crashing. I just want to say that I love you. I love you. I love Zambia. I love everyone. I love all the Jagabans. I'm here for you. I'm here to protect you. I'm here to speak for you. My phone number is there on the page. Those of you are sending me messages and I don't respond. Please continue sending your messages anytime it gets your turn i will reply to you may you be blessed and make sure that you like this page because we are coming to fight out that useless government there and anytime i'm live you are going to get the app thanks for watching my youtube channel Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lilimo Tams.